Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3 Where last time we uh, uh, explored the cellar of Last Light Inn Finding some remnants of the uh, Selenite resistance here And having a hell of a time fighting a group of mean locks over and over <laughs> and over again uh, But we did manage to come out on top And now we know that the core of the resistance seems to have been in the Mason's Guild. So when we get over there, we'll have to check that out. But uh, right now... Oh yeah, we also ran into uh, Will's patron. I forget, Minerva? Is that her name? Something like that. Um, and she was like, oh, you need to go save this person from Moonrise Towers. Or I'll be unhappy. And we're like, no. And she was like, yes. And we're like, okay. But give us uh, Will's soul back. Or whatever. Release him from the pact. So now we gotta find a way to get deeper into the Shadowlands, and that's what these folk are here for, I believe. Um, who do we talk to for that? Lissandra? Yeah. Say the word, and we set the ambush in motion. Shouldn't Isabelle's blessing keep me safe? I think we've already asked that. Go on ahead, I'll catch up. Let's take on that convoy. You lead, I follow. Splendid. I'll mark your map should you lose the way. Harper's with me. Stray no more than an arm's length from your course. All right. Let's follow him. Keep steady. We're closing in. Okay. You guys are fast. Oh, damn. My little legs can't keep up. I don't know why that Harper fell behind. Oh, did they just teleport? I think they did. Perfect spot for an ambush. Get into position. Is this the Potter's house? No. I remember this house. Okay, yeah, we've we've been here. Okay. Do I wait? Go to the ambush site. Or do I have to like go down there? We bring more to your church every day, my queen. Your followers are legion. Go. We'll wait for your signal. Hmm. That was a weird framing there. Will stand ready, Majesty. Soon we march. Soon the world will bow to you. Here, where boss? Something moved up there. Want me to drag it out? Clear your throat and make yourself known. Stay hidden. Keep waiting. Don't make myself known. Dryder's eyes cut through the darkness, locking on you as your parasite squirms with excitement. Your minds connect, and you hear a voice whispering to you. The absolute, or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the darkness. What of your true souls, my queen? How have they survived? I'm special. Signal the Harper's attack. The absolute protected me. Never mind that. There's a gang of harpers ready to ambush you. You know what they say. A ballad a day keeps the darkness away. Yeah, we'll go with the bard option. To make the darkness quiver with mere song. You must have blessed them, my queen. But if so, where is their lantern? Uh, yours is my lantern. A wondrous queen dropped me a message. She said, you need to give me that lantern. It is very important. <laughs> Let's go for it. We've got advantage on it. We're going to get guidance here, too. We're going to succeed at this. We're not even going to have to fight this guy. We actually barely... Oh, no. We super succeeded. Never mind. Majesty, is, is this true? 
Did I not serve you well? Very well. If it is your will, we can have it. Thank you. Good. You may go now. So how does this work exactly? Signal the Harpers to attack. Good. You may go now. What do you mean, go? We can't go without you. The shadows will tear us to pieces. This is not Her Majesty's will. Veil, idiote. There, you can now carry the blessing of the Absolute and be safe. Are we actually going to succeed at this, too? It's only a 14 again. Yeah, so we basically automatically... We could actually even increase it more. But I think I think what we've got is good enough. Yep. If it is a Majesty's will... You can't be serious. You know what's out there. If it is Her Majesty's will, then we shall walk! She will protect us. She... She must. I'm kind of worried that the shadows are going to overtake them and they'll attack us anyway. Just seen it. Nicely done. Now let's see what we've got here. Okay. Did I get the lantern? Oh no, it's on there. One the moon lantern. A thousand more to conquer. As very least. For every beast. The lantern gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. Nice. Incredible magic. I can feel the light lifting the shadows, even those within me. Be safe and be brave. We expect no less. So you notice a tiny pixie trapped within. No. Oh. These fey creatures are infamous for their trickery. Sometimes playful, sometimes malicious. Oh please, oh golly, me oh my! You must release me or I'll die. Hmm. only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. Who are you? What's this mechanism at the base of the lantern? Legends tell of the Fey trapping people, not the other way around. Why are you in here? Release the pixie, ignore the pixie. Who are you? My name. My name is Dolly Thrice. Now won't you free me from this vice? I need protection from this curse. If I release you, will you help me travel through the shadows? What's this mechanism at the bottom of the sh at the base of the lantern? What's this mechanism? I dare not name it, newfound friend. The faintest touch could spell my end. Wait. Why can't I ask the rest of the shit? That's annoying. That's actually kind of frustrating. Like, okay. Um. Well, that's a pain, because I, I didn't get all the information I wanted to know before I made a good decision. Um, I mean... Yeah, I, I'm going to ignore the pixie, I guess. Like, I feel like if I had, had the options to keep talking, I might have actually released her. But I didn't. So... And we need a lamp. We can't really risk it. We don't have another option. My, you've changed your tune. Gutted many ten day ten day olds in your day. I don't respond well to threats. My, you've changed your tune. If you prefer the kinder type, I'll sweetly slurp your guts like tripe. Yeah, ignore. No, no, no. Pixie. Curious little thing. Okay, do I need to like have that equipped? You get to see some interesting things. Almost makes the mortal peril worth it. Almost. And what happened to the the one guys? Are they dead? Oh, there's a chest here I missed. Yeah, what about their loot? Was it not 
Am I not allowed to loot them? Um. Yeah, go ahead and roll. Ooh, natural 20. Big, big roll. All right. Just some gems, really. Ingredients, a couple coins. So, where do they walk to? They walk down this thing? Hmm. Well, I thought for sure I'd, like, see their corpses. But... I don't see anything. Okay. Well, we want to go to the Mason's Guild first, so we want to go up this way. Yeah, this way over here. This is the direction we want to go. Did I, like, get more experience for doing that, too? Did we get, like, the same amount of experience for talking our way through encounters as we do fighting? Hmm. All right. So, do I need to equip that? Mm, is this it? Where is it? Lantern. The moon lantern. Okay. Is that the sword? I guess so. Alright. All right, in we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's save it. Open this cage, you mounting asshole! Wow, language. Wraithwin Mason's Guild. So this is the Mason's Guild? Looks like it. Oop. See that symbol on the ground? This was a mason's guild. Corpus that symbol? Display. Perhaps someone didn't appreciate the mason's stonework. I think it's the... Selenites. That they didn't appreciate. Probably hop across that, maybe. We probably... Want to make sure our group stays together, right? There's probably no real good chance of splitting up. Hello? Something's on my mind. T Tread carefully. You are still necessary. Gods, what's that smell? Sulfur? Bizarre. Hmm. I have no idea what that was about. Okay. Hello. I'll give it a shot. What is this? Like if I click on it. Be a warning. Those who defy Shah's will shall suffer darkness without her blessing. Mm. A bark skin recipe. That'll be good. Frivolity gave me a glimmer of hope today. I took precious time away from research into the platinum scale to help a gnome. Her guinea pig was trapped in bramble and briar. And the gnome wanted something to toughen her skin. I helped her. And the gnome kissed my raw, scaleless hand and left in good cheer. Recipe for one elixir of bark skin. Extracts needed. Salts of gnarled tree bark. Suspension of either mud mephit wing or lasulite. Or laculite? Luculite? Lasulite? Whatever. Method. Combine and shake. That should do it. When in doubt with alchemy, help a desperate guinea pig. Pluck him from the thorny sprig, then serve him up his tea. My success with Barkskin has led me down an avenue of experimentation that could cloak my aching body in scales of hard, shining platinum. Riding is harder with my left hand. The right one, the one the gnome kissed, is seized in a claw of agony. Generally, my pain is ab ab abominable. But for the first time in a while, I have it. I do. Hope. Small note was added to this edition of the text. It simply reads, I saved my guinea pig. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if that means I have that recipe now, or did I need to, like, pick it up? That might be worth a look. Old-looking bones. A pile 
of crushed bones of varying shapes, sizes, and creatures. Hmm. Here lies the Grand Mason, his bones and lies exposed. Damn, that's harsh. These Shar people don't mess around, do they? It's not lost on me that I am traveling with one, too. There's some more infernal iron over there. And now I'm encumbered. Fantastic. Let's go by weight. Is this crossbow? It's not better than what I've got, right? So we should not have it. Um. There we go. Frees me up a little bit. Okay. Trap disarm toolkit over here. Thieves tools. Scroll of burning hands. Take it all. Okay, there's a cellar over there. Or a hatch. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything around here. Okay, let's go up the ladder first. This just goes out back. Okay. Anything down here before I go into the, uh, the cellars? Black Oleander? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's just another way into the Mason's Guild. Alright. Let's head over here. I don't even know if we can go in, because it didn't look like it was like a... Alright, so I gotta make sure I wait for everybody. Good to know, good to know. Ornate wooden hatch. Okay. Do we need to have this out even down here? Oh. Where I can... Looks like I'm fine. Hmm. We do want to cast light, though. So I can see. There we go. Alright, so we have an elevator here. I don't really see anything else. Rags and a... Oh, what is this? Keyhold Herald. I might have the key, actually. Hell yeah. Used tower-shaped key. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Is this anything? No. Another door down at the end here. That's curious. Disarm that. Oh wow, I didn't see that difficulty class. Eee, okay. Uh ooh, we only have one inspiration? Okay. Give us another four. Come on, big roll, big roll. Ow. Damn. Okay. Oh, shit. Disarm. God, our rolls are terrible right now. Can you get another one? No. All right, get up there so it's not hitting you. Can't afford to stay idle. I'm needed. 
Hang in there, Rook. At least not everybody was in there. That's actually a blessing in disguise. No one back home will ever believe this. Disarm. Of course, now we get big rolls. Come on, do it. There you go. What to do? All right, disarm. What's that sound? Oh, okay. I don't want to... I guess we can try again. There we go. What's in here? Nothing. Oh my god. These... These people got what they deserved. Alright. This place looks wealthy. Mason's letter. Moonrise Diagram. A carefully drawn diagram of Moonrise Towers. A circle of red ink draws your attention as though something has been stashed in the tower's prison dungeon. Someone's hmm. marked a spot at the base of Moonrise Towers. Okay. And a lot of shadows here. Critical hit. Did that hit? I don't know why it does that sometimes. Alright, and step back. There you go. Shadow blend. Oh boy. Finding my way. Okay. One on them to get the kill and then hit him. Beautiful. I don't like these shadow blend things. That. Makes me think that they're gonna get sneak attack damage on me. And a miss. You're not supposed to miss. Let's finish this. Hmm. Ooh. Was that like double damage? Vulnerable, yeah. Hmm. Very nice, very nice. Cool. So that's two down. And it seems like we're gonna have to wait. Oh, is this guy like super good? Oh, it's a wraith. Good save there. Okay. Gonna reapply yours right here. Okay. And then attack. Damn. Okay, we do want to do radiant damage here, so I'm gonna do branding smite. Big damage. What exactly does Branding Smite do again? Afflicted entity sheds light in a 1.5 meter radius, preventing it from becoming invisible. Okay.
Good. Immune to prone, of course they are. Ow, okay. There you go. Alright, attack. It, mm. Good. Okay, so these shadows <clears throat> are kind of tough. Alright, attack. Damn. Dazed them, good. Should I do Spirit Guardian here? I'm trying to resist doing that. But good, we got that hit. I'm gonna go over here because I feel like they're gonna come up over here. Okay. Fire at him. And again. Good damage. Got another one coming up here. Oh no. Not the strength drain. Is that permanent? No. Two turns remaining. Good to know. Good to know. Kill them. Get up here. That's good. Alright, you kill. One more shot. Good. Revealed him with my invisible seeing eye. I love it. Trying to think of what I can do here. No time to waste. I think we might just have to move in. Yeah. Damn, that was a lot of damage. Right, attack. Is this the only one left? I could have sworn there were more. All right, you finish him off. There we go. At least things have stayed interesting. Good job. Let's do a song of rest. Get her health back. A distant memory of a man stretching his back with a groan. Another day of hauling masonry blocks done. I do wonder if this would have, like, done something to them. Calloused hands work a hammer and chisel around a massive slab of rock. Months from now, a face will take shape. A happy, faded memory comes to you. A woman walking along a beach, holding hands with her husband-to-be. That's sad. Before the shadows, there was once a house full of warmth and children's laughter in this one's life. Mm, a no button. More. What do we got in here? Got a lever, a heavy chest. Ooh, a bunch of scrolls in it. Very nice, very nice. And then a bunch of potions in this one. I like it. Right, let's go hear some more sad stories here. You can almost taste the sour ale that once clung to this soul's breath. He was insensible when the shadows came for him. 
You sensed this one hid for days as the sounds of battle got closer and closer to town. You didn't even care who won so long as it ended. Hmm. Terrible. Just terrible. Okay. Gotta collect all these stories for the grand tale of Rook the Bard at the end of this. A rich and fertile land. This ancient map depicts the area surrounding Moonrise Towers in detail, depicting a profusion of local fauna, deers, rabbits, black bears, and flora, with special emphasis placed on areas of or for prolific foraging. Hmm. All right, down here we go. That was a ladder right there. Nice. Okay, a bunch of silver stuff. Let's read the letter here. Halfred, you're probably surprised that I'm writing, though no more surprised than me. You warned me of Thorm's malice, yet I took up the hammer and trowel to build that cursed tower. You warned me of coming war, yet I built the prison that would contain his foes. You warned me. I did not listen. It is my deepest regret, and I must atone. I know more about the tower's construction than anyone, and possess innumerable tools and supplies besides. Gather your allies at last light, and let us devise a plan to infiltrate Moonrise. Catherick plans for war. He expects to face halberds and staves in the light of day. We will end him with a dagger to the back before he can so much as raise a blade. I do not expect you to forgive me, but I hope that you will try. Your brother, Morfred. Hmm. That's, that's rough. And a mason's log here. How quickly things change. The Thorms are Sulanite through and through, or so I believed. Perhaps Catherick only converted for Melodia, and with her death, and then his daughters, his faith died too. But to turn to Shar? It beggars belief. Catherick's Justiciars are growing greater in number, and more determined to rout out any traces of Saloon and Rythwin. Why do they think this town was built? One cannot rip out the foundations of a building and expect it to remain standing. Brother and I remain the last two bastions of Our Lady of Silver in town. A few, the trusting few, come to worship in secret by moonlit, moonlit nights. Others, converts all, whether they truly believe, I cannot say. Impossible, isn't it? Sick of standing idle while Justiciars gain power and... Shut up, Pixie. <laughs> Justiciars gain power in our humble town. What will become of us if we allow... If we allow it? I met a man who was no man, touched by a devil. Or maybe worse. But he offered me something I couldn't refuse. Help. The time is now. Catherick's Justiciars, their stronghold in the temple below, they will be wiped out. All of them. I didn't ask how, I just want them gone. Let the Harpers have at Ketherk now. They'll make short, short work of him. Yeah, we see how that ended up. Or ended, huh? Alright. What's the update now? We claimed the Drider's Moon Lantern. We should now be protected from the Shadow Curse. I'm kind of bummed we didn't get to fight him. But I guess that's what happens when you talk your way out of things. Blade of the Frontiers. Mizora appeared. Okay, yeah, yeah. Wait, where's the, um... Was that the end of it? Well, I guess it was. We reached the Mason's Guild and found the writings of Morfred, leader of the Selenite Resistance. He was determined to fight on against the Sharans however he could, even if it cost him his life. Interesting. I suppose we got... Whatever this is, huh? There's a trap. Disarm. Whoa, that's a big, big one, huh? Do we want to do this? Let's try it. Damn it. That blows. Well. All right, saved on the guiding bolt. How about that? Not so bad. There we go. And this has the Helmet of Arcane Acuity. Battle Acuity. Whenever you deal damage with a weapon attack, you gain Arcane Acuity for two turns. Dexterity saving throw up. Arcane Acuity. 
Affected entity has a plus one bonus to its spell attack rolls and spell difficulty class per turn remaining. Hmm. Maybe you want that? What are you wearing? You're wearing this, which gives you nature plus one. I think this will be better for you. There you go. Kind of looks cool with the horns. All right. Still alive, so that's progress. That didn't take too long at all, really. Let's go ahead and head on back out of here. Yep. I guess they were pretty thorough with their um destruction of this place, huh? There wasn't like any ancient relics or trinkets or anything like that hiding. I wonder how I use that elevator. Hmm. Not sure. Okay. Let's go out this way. We do want to go over to this thing next. Yeah, House of Healing. Because that's where, um... The loot might be that we're looking for for the uh the one afflicted gentleman a corpse rose all right save it grab the corpse rose recipe unlocked salts of corpse rose okay so there's definitely going to be undead in here isn't there it has got to be, right? Did we uh, rob graves? I think we have in the past, haven't we? Well, you know. Just take a peek. Oh my goodness. That's a good robe. Ice bite robe. Grants resistance to cold damage. Armor of Agathis. Grants 15 temporary hit points and deals 15 cold damage to any creature that hits you with a melee attack. That could be really good for... You know what? Well, nothing bad happened. So that's going to encourage me to steal the rest of their stuff. The pride of the gate. Resistance... Oh, that's just... Oh, this is much better then. There you go, buddy. No time to rest. And that one's just got a candle. Well, cool. With haste. That was worth it. All right, what else we got? Whole bunch of tombstones. In memory of Brent Crivens, taken along with his family on the same grim night. May their deaths be avenged. What a thing to write on somebody's tombstone, huh? Avenge me. Or a temple. Are you seeing bodies on the ground? Oh, these guys? What was that? Chosen of Shar. A great many Dark Justiciars seem to have perished while fighting near the graveyard. We must be drawn close to the place Shadowheart wishes to find. Oh, nice. Who's talking? Oh, Raphael. Our hero thought but of treasure ahead, did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark he went creeping and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which he himself fed. Ooh, spooky. A warning, no less. Don't tell me you're worried about me. Are you saying there's treasure ahead? How long have you been standing around practicing that little recital? Are you worried about me? 
Merely protecting my assets. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. And what dangers are those? I can handle myself, Raphael. So you expect me to turn and walk away? What dangers are those? Oh. <laughs> we both know they are soon to be revealed. It would be pointless of me to try to buy you from entering. But I can... Set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. Fine. Paint me a picture. How do you even know there's danger ahead? I know my role, even if you don't. It is to kill Catherick. Just cut to the chase, will you? Hmm. Paint me a picture. There is a stage down in the dark upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Hmm. Paint me a cleaner picture than that. Spell it out. Enough of your jibber-jabber. Be gone. A uh, clearer picture, please. Voice of the Circle and Guidance. Easy. Very well. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Hmm. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. Is... Is this going to be the same devil that we're, we're supposed to save for Will? You're still only telling me half of what you really know, I can tell. I'll consider my actions when I get there. On the other hand, the enemy of my enemy, etc. Yeah, we'll make the insight check. Good. This creature and I go back a long way. I admit, it would be in my best interest as well, should it remain trapped in the dark. Or misplace its head, perhaps? What are we talking here? Lemia? Pit Fiend? Orthon? Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. An Orthon? Is that... Okay, I don't know what that is. There's so many different <laughs> names for creatures; it's hard to keep them all in my head. Sounds like an attic or an ac sounds like an acquaintance I'd like to meet. Well, oh my God, <laughs> sounds like an acquaintance I'd like to make. Actually, I bleh. anything else I need to know? Are you afraid of this creature, Raphael? Are you afraid? Listen here, Pip Squeak. Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. After all, if there is one rule I hold dear, it's that one must always give the devil his due. Hmm. The Pale Elf updated. Huh. That's an interesting one to update. Raphael le left without Asterion speaking to him. Whatever Asterion's questions were, we'll have to look for answers elsewhere. Maybe in Baldur's Gate itself. I didn't know he had a question for Raphael. Otherwise I would have... Well, I guess I had no way of knowing Raphael was here, but, you know... Raphael told us of a nemesis of his who lurks in the depths beneath the mausoleum. Evidently, we should try to deal with this old enemy. Hmm. Well, not yet. That's curious. Oh, 
Not entirely sure digging up this is a smart idea, but... We're doing it anyway. Okay. Just an acid vial. No, no big deal. Waypoint discovered. Grand Mausoleum. Okay, so we're still trying to get over here. Yeah, the House of Healing. There might have been a way in right there. Alright, this is where we wanted to get to today. Let's see, this looks like it might be a better way to get in. Okay, what do we got going on here? We got a silver knife. Only with an unwavering hand can we show our subject mercy? The gilded chest over there. Sister Patricia. Sounds familiar. I can crack that open. I forgot to cast guidance there. I'm glad we succeeded. 188 gold. Armor. What kind of armor are we talking about here? Uh, just regular old armor? Okay. Yep. Uh, lockpick. There we go. Roll. Good. Gale full movement and oil of sharpness. We'll take it all. Okay. Well, how do we get down? So you could probably hop down there. All right, let's go out here, I guess. Where are the doors at? This place is big. Holy crap. Can I walk in here? Oh, look at us. Oh, was there a door there the whole time? Yep. Um, well, let's go back over there then. And go through this door here. Hit that button. Open sesame. Thank you, thank you. Hit the button. Aha, this is how we get down. Let's save it. Get make sure everybody's on it. Make sure everybody's on it. Come on guys, get on. There we go. I do that only because last time <laughs> I didn't want to leave him behind. Malice Thorn. Okay. Hmm. Probably want to go down this way. Staff bedding pool? House of Healing Staff Pool. Rules. Number one. Foreign body must be lodged in redacted cavity. Two. Once a guess is made, it may not be made again. Three. Minimum bet, one gold piece. Round one bets. Pool, 11 gold. Lidwin, chicken egg. Cinder, wine bottle. Hana, carrot. Vanessa, candlestick. Winner, and Anya Ogre's Finger. Okay. What cavity are they sticking things in? I'm a little, uh... Ugh. <laughs> round, round two bets. 15 gold pieces. Lidwin, Live Rat, Winner, and Yuck. Oh, God. Cinda, Children's Doll, Juana, Pearl Necklace, Jan, Jean, 
marbles, Vanessa potato, Anya, uh, minotaur, minotaur horn. So Anya is like a monster killer or something. Round three bets, 17 gold pieces. Cinda, Quill, Hana, uh, cremation urn, Jian flute. Whether well, that's the flute I'm looking for. Vanessa whipping cane and Anya troll's tooth. No winner this time. Okay. Interesting. Got yeah, surgeon's memor memorandum in here. Yeah, let's read that. Memorandum to all Rythwin House of Healing medical personnel from Malice Thorm, head surgeon. It has come to my attention that our so-called caregivers are wasting precious anesthetics, anesthetic resources on the elderly and mortally wounded. Nurse Lidwin informs me this practice eases the suffering of the feeble and guides them to Our Lady's final embrace. Never have I heard such adjacent or abject nonsense. Anesthetic is a tool to relieve my ears of my subject's screams as I apply the blade. Not a mercy to be freely dispersed to living corpses. So saith Shar. Only in the infirm's suffering may we forget our own. The next to ignore this, mi this missive will feel my scalpel without sedative. I will simply have to endure the shrieks. Yikes. Some potions of sleep there. This place is not great, is it? Oh, I didn't see this person here. Hi. Care to see the doctor? Are we poorly? Are we desperately poorly? Oh, not so well, but well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. I've never seen this kind of a character before. It's like the nurse from DVD or something. <laughs> um, I'm fine, fine. I'll go and I'll get in line. I don't have time to wait. I need to see the doctor right now. I'll get in line. Yeah. Be patient. Be well. Yeah, sure thing. You're creepy. This is a creepy place. <laughs> You're not sick. Not sick at all. Wait in line. Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line. Fine, fine. And you will be s Okay. Here to see the doctor. Oh. oh. Not so well. They're gonna stop me from going in. Oh, not so well. Okay. Shouldn't have wished to live in more. So we're gonna have to like sneak back around. Right, guys, okay, I get it. I get it. Up now. Okay. So now we have to go back and around to get to where we started from. So go this way. This is the quickest way to get there. To be honest, I didn't see these guys. Okay. Um. Put that right there. Let them come to me. Good hit. Bad hit. Do that, and you're gonna do Eldritch Blast. Good, good, good. All right. 
attack them. And summon one of these right here. God damn it. A triple dash. Oh my god, they move in unison. Ow. Okay. Good. Alright. You're gonna go ahead and rage. While well, magic surge, you can summon an intangible spirit. Okay. And again. Good. Alright. You're gonna do... Fireball right here. Beautiful. And go ahead and do that. Love it. Good work. Good work, Will. Okay, you move up. Oh, wait, wait. It's not what I wanted to do either. I'm all over the place. I forgot we can't, like, go around leaving a uh, rook. You might be able to, though. Yeah, you're not going to get by the Shadow Curse. Oh, well, thank you for attacking that thing. I appreciate that. I really do. Go ahead and hit him with that. No reason to react to that. Alright, we kill this guy first. With the critical hit. Love to see it. Love to see it. And go ahead and summon this thing. Right here. All right, you can do that on them. And then Eldritch Blast. Good damage, good damage. That damages them. I don't even see this guy. No, my strength. Good. Good. You More vicious mockery. Attack this guy. And again. Hit them again with an Eldritch Blast. Good. And then go ahead and hook them over. Now you attack. And then heal. Critical miss. That's not a critical miss. Finish them off. And again. Beautiful. And you finish them off. Fantastic. Alright. Fortunately, you took some damage, but... Give you a little bit of healing from each of you. There we go. Alright, what do we got? Alright, that confirms that we're looking for the loot. You feel a rush of outrage. This woman worshipped Shah to the end. 
So why does the Night Singer's curse not spare her? Mm. Hey, when you serve an evil god, you know, that's the kind of stuff that can happen. An older man turns his head away in shame. His neighbors would not renounce Saluna. Now they hang in the town square. Hmm. It's a tough uh, position to be in, huh? Let's go grab this stuff too. Oh, it's Karnas. That's the dude, isn't it? Yeah, that's all of them. Wow, they're a lot weaker. Um, We're going to try and... Let's end the episode by killing them. Hopefully. That won't draw any attention. On my way. Something over there. All right. Um. Strength in silence. Dol. Gotta keep doing it. We got a lot of good damage on that. Okay. Hmm. Can I go into you first? Rage. Can teleport each turn. That's big. All right, get in there. Surely that's a hit too. Good. So much for peace. And then, not enough movement speed. Okay. Mm. Okay, we don't want to do that then. Move back. And just hit this guy with a vicious mockery. Ooh. That was some big damage. Okay, you move up. You get in there. Damn. Summon this. Oh shit, I didn't even know this guy was here. Alright, um... Do this on them. This guy should be dead this round, I'm hoping. You have 50% chance there, or 70% with that, so do that. Good damage. You... Attack him. Oh wow, this guy's weak. Okay, so we got these guys way over here, too. Good damage. Oh, my God. That sucked, huh? I uh, can't help them up. Okay. Fire and arrow. Damn, that was painful. All right. Bonus action to heal him. And then smack him. Good. Okay. Go ahead. Use that on... They're both pretty low. Okay, you got one kill. Okay, he's almost dead. 
Wonder how hard this fight is uh, when they're not shadowed. Is it a lot more difficult? Hmm. All right, heal yourself. You kill them. And then fire an arrow. Good. You're going to do Sacred Flame on him. Good damage, good damage. He's going to move up. Attack him. Good, good, good. Go ahead, hit him with your Eldritch Blast. Beautiful, beautiful. You're gonna come over this way. Got this guy coming in. From around the back. Vicious Mockery. Move away. Come up here and kill him. Good. Finishing blow here. Good. What did we have here? He had Cruel Sting. It is a long sword. Sting the Helpless. A drow elf wielding this weapon deals an additional 1d4 poison damage against restrained targets. Interesting. It also deals 1d6 psychic damage. Hmm. And ensnaring strands. Level 1 conjuration spell. Your attack conjures thick, sticky webbing that possibly enwebs your targets. The trauma of becoming a drider is quickly set aside with a cold, arachnid dispassion. This sword follows that disturbing trend. A replenishing poison gland is built within, deploying only against trapped opponents. Nice. We'll take that. Wasn't there something else we discovered here? F loss pain Alice or pain alls L rise. Hmm. No traps, please. That seems like it's a um a thing, doesn't it? Alright, let's loot these guys. Yeah, I wonder how strong they were before they got shadowed. Like, I saw they were missing health. But did this, like, make them weak or two? Thermo Arcanic Gloves. Arcane Ashes. Whenever you deal fire damage, you gain two turns of heat. And heat. Engulf engulfed by a vengeful fire. Take 1d4 fire damage each turn. But can use heat convergence. Okay. And that is... Consume your heat to fuel a powerful attack. The next time you deal fire damage, you deal an additional one fire damage for every turn of heat remaining. Okay. It's kind of neat. Alright, I think that's everybody. Alright, looking at where we're at in the map. Alright, so we're actually looking straight down at Moonrise Tower down there. So we're going to want to circle back around to get up here. I guess we could just teleport, huh? Ah, we might as well circle around, explore. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. In the next one, we'll make it into the House of Healing and see if we can find the loot for the one dude. But until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you later.